the third international workshop on systems network telemetry and analytics organized in conjunction with HPDC 2020. So despite uh, all of the problems we had uh, this year owing to the COVID-19 pandemic we are here, I would like to uh, I would like to thank all of the people that have contributed to the organization of the workshop, in particular uh, the co-chairs Gino Kim from Texas A&M University in Commerce and Alex Sim from Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. And of course, all of the many people uh, that uh, accepted to belong to the technical program committee. They did a very good job and we assembled a very nice program for this edition of SNTA 2020. So how the workshop is going to run. As you already know, we, we have this live welcome and introductory session using the Zoom application. We're going to have two sessions today. In each of the session, we will have a keynote speaker. First one is Hinder Monga, the division director of our scientific networking division of the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab and Executive Director of ESNet. And in the second session, we are going to have Eric Chantin of the Department of Computer Science from Loyola University in Chicago. Regarding paper presentations, we had uh, 12, 12 submissions. Each paper has been reviewed by at least three reviewers. We accepted the five full papers and three short ones for a total of about 41% acceptance rate. I also would like to remember before going on that uh, we also have uh, plenty of space for questions and answer. Um, discussions related to the presentation will be offered through our complimentary Slack channel. So this workshop uh, would not have been possible without the support of many people, so in particular uh, our sponsor, the ACM Special Interest Group on Computer Architecture and uh, HPC, and the support from the University of Salento, University of um, e &M, University of Commerce in Texas, and Berkeley Lab. Then here is a brief summary, our first session we are going to have uh, the first introductory keynote from Hinder Monga and then four additional papers, the papers you see here that I'm going to show you in a moment. Next, in our second session, we will have a second keynote sp uh, speaker, Eric Chantin, and four additional papers, the one you can see in the slide. So, a few information regarding next year, SNTA 2021, will still be held in conjunction with HPDC and will be held in presence, hopefully, in Stockholm, Sweden. It, it should be planned, should be scheduled around uh, June 20 next year. So thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for to our elders for contributing to the program of this year. And now it's, going, it's time to start our first session. So, it's my pleasure to show you our first keynote from Inder Monga, the division director from Scientific Networking Division of Lawrence Berkeley National Lab and the executive director of EASNet. His talk is about analytics-driven networking, when the computer becomes the network. And here we go, enjoy. Hi, my name is Inder Molnar and I'm the director of Energy Sciences Network, ESNet that is focused on accelerating science by building and operating a high performance network user facility for the Department of Energy, Office of Science. The title of my talk, Analytics Driven Networking, When the Computer Becomes a Network, 
was chosen to put a spotlight on an area of networking that has fallen behind the many innovations that have made internet what is today. Since the early days, the main focus was on scaling, that is processing packets at line rates and the protocols needed to ensure that all the packets got to the right destination. The management and analytics had always fallen behind due to the lack of compute cycles in the network devices. And these compute cycles will never be dedicated towards collecting and sharing statistics, but more focused on processing packets at line rate to keep up with the growth in speeds that we were seeing. Now, with the growth in computing power and storage, we can build and manage the network with compute rather than specialized network devices. So this talk focuses on new innovations in telemetry, AI and ML for network analysis, and an ad scale infrastructure fabric to allow network researchers to demonstrate the effectiveness of ideas. We look forward to a great discussion on these topics next week. And thank you for watching my keynote. So we would like to thank you once again, our keynote speaker, Inder Monga. Of course, uh, I want to recall that you can access the full talk and the slides. So feel free to, to do it. Next, uh, we have our first offer, which is uh, Swati Shaima, and uh, he's going to present uh, K-Detect and supervised anomaly detection for cloud systems based on time series clustering. K-Detect is an unsupervised anomaly detection algorithm for cloud systems based on time series clustering. Cloud systems host a large number of virtual machines and hence generate large amount of monitoring data. In general, we cannot expect all this data to be labeled. Also, in order to detect anomalies in a manner transparent for the users, cloud providers rely on system metrics like CPU, memory, disk, or network usage. Hence, we present KDetect, which is an unsupervised iterative refinement-based clustering algorithm it provides a generic solution for periodic time series. It relies on K-shape to create clusters at every iteration, and segregation of these clusters is done based on the shape of the time series. Evaluation is done based on a production data set, and K-Detect shows high values of recall and precision. Okay. So thanks to our author, Swati Sharma. Next, let me introduce our next paper presented by Nandini Krishna Swami. And the paper deals with data-driven learning to predict one network traffic. My name is Nandini Krishnaswamy, a research affiliate at Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. In this paper, Data-Driven Learning to Predict Wide Area Network Traffic, my co-authors and I explored both statistical and deep learning approaches for multi-step predictions in wide area network traffic traces. We did this by studying real network traces from a research network, ESNet. We use Fourier analysis to present variation among the traffic traces and develop statistical time series methods, specifically ARIMA and Holt Winters, and three LSTM based approaches with various neural network architectures to forecast and compare the accuracies between them. Our results indicate that predictions are improved at an average of 70% or more using the LSTM based methods. We further discuss current challenges and how we can improve network utilization for future planning problems. So thank you. And next one in line is uh, Shilpa Bandari, which will discuss 
the paper about feature selection, which, is in, which improves tree-based classification for wireless intrusion detection. Hi everyone, this is Elba Vandari. On behalf of my team here at Youngstown State University, I would like to invite you to our workshop in which we are going to go over how we can use sample feature analysis tool to find which features of the wireless network are the most important ones while machine learning models are classifying whether the wireless network is normal or intrusive. Uh, through our project, we were able to find that we received similar results when we trained our models on 156 features or 15 most significant features of the wireless network, those 15 most significant features were found using sample feature analysis. Uh, this is huge because it means that we won't have to collect and clean a large data set with 156 features while uh, classifying wireless network using machine learning. So I hope you will join us at the workshop and find it to be very informative. Thank you. Okay, we are going to conclude our first session with a paper and uh, the paper is presented by Mariam Kiran. The paper is about using machine learning for intent-based provisioning in high-speed science networks. Everyone, we will be presenting our paper titled Using Machine Learning for Intent-Based Provisioning in high-speed science networks. In this particular paper, we are targeting this problem of intent-based networking, where we are actually telling the network what is needed rather than how it will go ahead and provision it. It's very much driven by user intent, and then we automate all the network provisioning behind the scenes. In this particular tool, we have extended the current Facebook Rasa open source NLP solution to actually adapt it for network systems. We have a very intelligent API, which is now hooked into Slack API. So Evian is able to talk to users using Slack and actually get the network requirements and then go ahead and provision the network for them. Please join us for more details during our session where we will talk about the research challenges we faced while developing this innovative machine learning and intent-based networking solution. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Next, we are going to start session two. We begin with a keynote speaker, Eric Chantin, from the Department of Computer Science of Loyola University in Chicago. And Eric is going to talk about the 2020 vision for web privacy. Hello, if you are interested in web privacy, please come to the second keynote for System and Network Telemetry and Analytics 2020. In this keynote, I'm going to talk about the, the evolution of privacy, especially on the web, and also presenting a vision of how web privacy uh, will look like in the future. So if you're interested in privacy, uh, want to know how to protect yourself or how to protect your privacy, and also look at future research work, come and listen to this team. Thank you. That was our keynote speaker. Now, now we start the second session with a paper presented by Jiwo Bang and called HPC Workload Characterization Using Feature Selection and Clustering. Hello, my name is Jiwo Bang and I am PhD student in Seoul National University. And this is the lightning talk of, about my research, HPC workload characterization using feature selection and clustering. 
in order to get the higher performance in, in the high performance computing system, the system provides some tunable parameters to the users, such as the number of computers, cell count, or stretch size. Users can tell the system how much resource they want to use when they submit their jobs. Since users are not familiar with using these tunable parameters, we need to understand the different I/O demands of HPC applications in order to provide the necessary I/O configurations or to analyze the reason for their performance. In order to do that, the first step is to analyze the workload's I/O behaviors. Since there are thousands of jobs running in HPC system every day, we try to cluster HPC workloads using feature selection and clustering machine learning algorithms. And both Kaylee's and Wardling show the best clustering performance in our work, okay. especially when the number of clusters so is now we continue with our next speaker, which is Ji Yung Kim. And uh, she talks about the paper Transfer Learning Approach for Botnet Detection based on a recurrent variational autoencoder. The paper titled Transfer Learning Approach for Bandit Detection based on recurrent variational tiger cops with bandit detection methods based on machine learning. The main scientific achievement in this paper is verifying transfer learning, can learn and order data with labels, and then apply the learning and a new data records without label, which is Useful for network security application because security issues such as boundless continue to evolve. The significance of the paper is that the presented detection approach utilizing recurrent variational autoencoder can detect potential boundless in the new network monitoring data set as a target domain with the knowledge transferred from the popular data set of CQ30. In this paper, we propose the method categorized into two, depending on existence of label dataset in the target domain. We called with label and without label. The experimental result show that the presented method detects suspicious bundled connection uh, effectively. The accuracy for transfer learning is higher than a semi-supervised learning based method trained on the target dataset. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Next one in line is uh, Satyaji Padi. She talks about funding the optimal reconfiguration for network function virtualization orchestration with time varied workload. Hello everyone. In this paper, I'm going to show you our orchestration technique for network function virtualization. My name is Satyajit Padi. What is this paper about? In network function virtualization, our main objective here is to come up with a placement solution for a virtual network function that can actually give us a lower reconfiguration and energy cost. Why are we doing this? As the workload demand changes for the network functions over time, it is important to address the trade-off between energy cost and VNF reconfiguration cost. So in this paper, you are going to see how we have modeled it as a two-level placement problem. You're even going to see how an ILP formulation can actually give us a reduced objective cost. Moreover, we have even shown you from our experiments how reconfiguration solution can be chosen for a virtual neural function in different scenarios. Thank you for listening and I'm really excited to present you my work. Okay, so last one is presented by Makija Nakashima and the paper is about evaluation of uh, deep learning models for network performance prediction for scientific facilities. Uh, 
Hello, my name is Makia Nakashima.、Uh, I'm a graduate student at Texas A&M University of Commerce. Our research paper title is Evaluation of Deep, Deep Learning Model for Network Performance Prediction for Scientific Facilities. The reason why we are interested in this data is that、uh, large data transfers are getting more critical with the、uh, increasing volume of data in scientific computing.、Uh, therefore, we think that、uh, predicting network performance based on the、uh, historical measurement should be essential for network flow scheduling and、uh, resource allocation in the facility. Uh, we contributed to、uh, analyze data sets and evaluate deep learning models.、Uh, we utilize、uh, several different neural networks,、uh, such as ANN, CNN, GRE, and LSTM. Thank you. Okay, so our second session is done.、Um, let me I want to. I would like to thank all of you for contributing to this year program. Thanks to my co-chairs, it will not win. It will not have been possible、uh, organizing such a high-quality workshop without the contribution, the great contribution from、uh, both Gino Kim and Alex Sim. Thank you again. Thanks once again to the people. Uh, that uh, help the reviewing all of the papers, you know, all of the people in the、uh, technical program committee. Thanks once again to the authors.、Uh, don't forget to prepare to begin preparing your papers for next year、uh, workshop. Of course,、uh, we welcome your submission again.、Um, let me also、uh, recall that we do have.、Uh, Uh, a Slack channel on which you may ask、uh, questions related to these papers.、Uh, I hope you have enjoyed the short teaser videos as much as I have.、Uh, don't forget if you have, if you need to do it,、uh, to see to download the full videos, download the slides, the paper. Feel free to ask questions to the others and around、uh, on the Slack channel. And thank you again. It has it has been a privilege to chair this session. So on behalf of all of the chairs, thank you once again, and see you next year for SNTA 2021. Thank you again. Bye bye.